Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. It's been so much drama going on with Melody Cherie, the slaw, and walkie talkie, things of that nature, to where I haven't even did the review for last Saturday's episode. I haven't discussed everything that's been going on with Letitia and Stormy and we just really got to talk about what is to expect in this next episode with the begging snots. So let's get into it y'all. They really thought that I was going to let them breeze past me but no it was just a lot going on with the star of the show. So I couldn't really speak on them. Y'all get in the comments to let me know if y'all watched the interview with Melody Cherie's makeup artist, Jay Taylor. He did an interview with Chef Dun Dun. I let y'all know y'all needed to head over there because Jay wanted y'all to check it out. Melody Cherie was also in the chat and I thought it was a great interview. I really loved it. We're going to break it down and we're going to talk about it over here on my platform. And Jay is Mill's real friend. They've been friends for about eight years building their relationship. Melody Cherie was in the chat i'm sure if she felt like jay wasn't her real friend then she wouldn't have been in the chat or she wouldn't even be working with him the way that she does he actually dropped a lot of gems and it's a lot of things that i want to talk about and dissect about that interview and we're going to get a chance to do that and yes i was over there watching i saw he gave me a shout out shout out to a lot of y'all that was in my dms and that let me know that he gave me the shout out and the fact that he loves my channel got me putting my hair in the back of my ear because not gonna lie I low-key felt like my channel was kind of too runchy for Mill and them and their team even though my channel is runchy I do state nothing but facts and it's clear as day that they see that so he showed me tons of love over there in that interview whether y'all try to act like y'all don't see me or not the right people do Jay said that two of his favorite content creators were me and True T he also used the term things of that nature and walkie talkie and I just want to clarified now since we are at 10,000 subscribers I got the term things of that nature walkie talkie hope from true T everybody knows true T is the original wordsmith here on YouTube when it comes to love and marriage Huntsville so much so my man is always saying she hits all the love and marriage Huntsville characters with three-piece combos and it's sickening he just be listening through passing and she be having him rolling so that tells you everything you need to know one day she was doing one of her epic roasts and she literally said Things of that nature, walkie talkie, loose dig hole. And from that day forward, I could never let the name go. Like, literally, I'm chuckling thinking about it now. So, realistically, True T coined that term and I could never let it go. And I started using it over here on my channel. But I had to clarify that because y'all keep saying I came up with that name and I didn't. I just use it more than True T because she is a wordsmith. She can come up with a million different new nicknames off the top of her dome. And each one of them gonna be funny like that one. Right, but I digress. That's besides the point. That's besides the point because that's not why we here. We here to talk about these scamming ass people right here. Because I told you, Stormy, I told you as you chose the wrong team and that's what you get. You try to act like you was this uppity up girl that you knew everything that you had it all together lo and behold you went and got yourself linked up with some scammers make it to you make this internet call and y'all this could be for a storyline but if it isn't that's really what her ugly ass get because she was very nasty and vid and vindictive with the way that she was dealing with Mill. All the while, her and Letitia are in a beef at this moment. Now, Stormy didn't really drop any names, but we can put two and two together. It's clear as day that she's talking about Letitia. We've already debunked the fact that Letitia was using her, Stormy, for 
her own business. So her hair care line that she has out for her daughters, we already knew that Stormy was her distributor for that. So much so, Stormy gave her the entire blueprint, even her shipping policy that I already showed you guys in one of my older YouTube videos. As you guys can see here in Letitia's shipping policy on her daughter's Macy and Mila hair care, you would see Canvas Beauty email listed at the bottom in regards for any business questions that any of her customers may have. So in my opinion, that was something that she mistakenly did because it's now fixed. I think that she copied and pasted um, Stormy shipping policy and didn't proofread it. Another thing that was interesting is you all sent me a lot of messages about Letitia covering another label on her daughter's hair care products and adding her own label. The problem is I don't understand which one is Letitia's label or which one isn't, which one is wholesale and which one is the one that she created for herself. The ones that she's selling here in this picture and the ones that you guys saw online that she was covering up or saw on the show that she was covering up was pink. However, if you go online, then you would see that it's purple and blue. So she's marketing two different color bottles and I don't think that's good business. People aren't gonna be able to recognize your brand when they are looking for you. And a lot of you all were saying that it was Stormy's bottles and I didn't believe it until now. Stormy took to her Instagram story and said, I wish I would subject myself to being around a man who acts like a female. And I already told y'all Stormy was male identified. Stay away from women that call other women females and stay away from men that call other women and females in my opinion is dehumanizing but that's here that's a different topic another discussion for another day she then says whose wife copies everything canvas that's clearly shade to Letitia and Stormy doesn't know what she want to do she doesn't know if she want to has have beef with Melody or if she want to have beef with Letitia she saw that the beef with Mel wasn't going to give her a storyline so in my opinion she switched her tune in my opinion it could be a storyline because we know they like to set things up so we will see how it all plays out out. regardless this just goes to show Letitia business skills she claims she's a businesswoman, but it looks like in my opinion she cuts a lot of corners and she copies off a lot of people today in this episode we're gonna see Stormy and Marceau kind of have a back and forth moment where Marceau is asking Stormy for a hundred dollars for her being at the event and in the scene prior to you hear Letitia asking her to speak at the event. So basically they want Stormy to pay $100 to speak at the event, which is weird. I'm going to show a clip at the end of this video, but it just goes to show they don't do good business. Nobody should trust them. And it's one of the reasons why Mel didn't want to work with them. I honestly can't wait to see how this all play out because you have Stormy acting nasty and stank to Mel. Mel not giving her any of that energy back. And so now we about to see her and Letitia fall out. So I want to just see how this is all going to play out. She's probably going to be trying to team up with Mel again, but Mel isn't really going to mess with her. In the interview that Jay Taylor did with Chef Dun Dun, he said that um, he didn't really have any issues with Mel and he's a professional. So quite naturally, Nothing that goes on on the show is any of his business, so that's normal. But he also said he's not going to be buddy-buddy with her, calling her, hitting her up, and doing any type, of any type of weird stuff like that. And that's the type of stuff that I be saying. Like, some people just be doing weird stuff, i.e. Stormy going to hang out with her ex-husband. That is weird. If you're claiming you're building a friendship and a relationship, why are you trying to build a friendship and a relationship with her ex ex-husband and just to turn around and say that your husband and her ex-husband had already had a friendship since when she also teamed up and partnered up with destiny as well again that's weird connecting if you're trying to build a friendship so again like jay taylor was saying in that chef don don interview he is real friends with mel that doesn't mean he's not going to be a professional like kimmy is a weirdo kimmy tried to get him to do her makeup knowing that Mel didn't share her glam. But Jay wasn't weird about it. He just offered her a friend that he knew because he knew plenty of makeup artists. But it's one of those things, Kimmy knowing that um, 
that Mel doesn't share her glam. In my opinion, I think Kimmy is sneaky and weird. Why would you go and ask her makeup artist, go straight to her makeup artist instead of asking Mel for her glam when you knew Mel didn't share glam? People like to look past Kimmy, but in my opinion, Kimmy is weird. But again, Jay being her friend and having a professional relationship with her, just instead of calling Mel about it and making it a big deal and doing Kimmy's makeup, he offered her one of his friends or somebody that he knew that was really good at doing makeup as well. I'm sure when Mel found out later on about it, you know, it was just nothing. But in my opinion, it was still weird and it's shady because she know Mel doesn't share glam. If it wasn't really a big deal, then she would have just called Mel and asked Mel if she could have her glam for that day. Just so Mel could tell her she didn't want her to have her glam or anything like that. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Y'all get in the comments. Y'all let me know. But Jay Taylor said everyone knows and Mel has made it very clear that she doesn't share glam. Did you get a chance to send that money over? What money? Just $100. Ain't nobody told me. Ain't nobody know me. Why y'all didn't say that at the meeting? At the walkthrough? I don't know. Y'all should have. So I could have known. Yeah, we, we should have had Before more stuff now. together. You know what I'm but saying? Thank you, guys. Especially for... Coming up to me now, asking me about a hundred dollars. I know, right? I That's weird. Sure. That's very. I just want to make sure. That's very low vibrational. And you bigger than that. You bigger than that. I'm bigger than what? A hundred dollars today. I'm sorry. That's yeah. my mind. Don't let. I'm do glad. It. I'm glad it's so small. And yeah, I, very. I offer my help in, in, in the meantime. Yeah. Don't be low vibrational like that. Not at the Black Expo. We can't do that at the Black yeah, Expo. You know, you're, 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 I felt that that was just like a lack of integrity to let it be perpetuated. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I had no control over that at all. I have no control over that. Sometimes you would rather avoid the harder conversations because it's easier to just shut it down. Now I'll tell you, if I avoided hard conversations, I wouldn't have hosted no tea and I wouldn't have came here today. We're here because we're looking at the center for the Black Business Expo. I would like for you to be a part like of it. Like be the replacement for Melody. Though. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm down. I'm, I'm gay. I love doing stuff like this. It's for like the community and like business. <laughs> Speaking my language. Did you want to pay for a spot? No, why? Stormy? Hi. Hey, did you get a chance to send that money over? What money? It's $100. You bigger than it. I'm bigger than what? A hundred dollars today. Hey, babe. Let me tell you what your husband. Wait, wait, wait. What's wrong? What's wrong? This, 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 this come back to me. me. Don't come at me by no hundred dollars on the day of. Yeah, yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah, yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Oh, it's not in the case of anybody.